While I have no personal experience when it comes to using drugs myself, growing up in Miami, I've been exposed to a lot of people who have used drugs, including friends. Substance abuse has personally affected my friends and family in many ways. I've known many people that have struggled with it, friends, relatives, like aunts, uncles. I've personally seen this in my life with the people around me, such as friends, family members, and even an uncle who went through withdrawals after he was addicted to crack for years. I actually never got to meet my grandfather on my mom's side because he was an alcoholic and um, he passed away. There are just certain psychological aspects of life that drug abusers and substance abusers think that they can't control themselves, so they turn to something that they know will give them a good fix for a little while or that they'll be able to rely on. The brain is a part of the central nervous system located within the cranium. It can be affected by stimulants, depressants, and hallucinogens in drugs, which can affect your way of thinking and the things you do. It just takes a lot out of a person, it takes a lot out of relationships. This can strain your relationship in many different ways. You might feel like you just stop caring altogether because there's nothing you can do about it. I personally don't have any experience with heavy drugs, but after reading of the psychological effects of it and seeing it in others' lives, I probably won't. People are subconsciously aware of the effects that take place after one gets addicted to a substance. And psychologically, they tend to shut that part out because they just want that fix, that like high of a little stress reliever for a good minute. I think that there can be many signs that someone you know is struggling with it. For example, maybe they just start like showing up to family functions less and just they haven't been acting like their usual selves, like they seem like out of it, doing weird behaviors they normally wouldn't, or like acting depressed or like manic. It depends on what substance it is that they're using. I actually find it very intriguing that certain substances have different grades of effect on a person and their psychological being. When you're friends with the user, you feel like you always have to babysit them. You have a constant anxiety about what they might do when you're not around. This can be very draining, but you also worry about what they might do if you stop talking to them. Maybe they'll start using more. This makes you feel kind of trapped and like you constantly have to be around to take care of them. Maybe you stick around and you keep arguing about it because you're tired of being there babysitting all the time. And then you eventually drift apart. And who knows what happens after that. It's just really unfortunate how common it is. I think that it's definitely like an epidemic in this generation too. Like opioids like have like killed so many like celebrities and people. It's just really unfortunate and we definitely have to figure out something to do about this problem. Drugs are bad, but being in college, I actually see the effects of this all the time. Living in New York City also contributes to that. It's affected my relationship with my mother. It doesn't only affect the user, it also affects all the people in their lives.